like that, right? And so they send me a lot of, they notify me for weird animal stuff. I think this was actually put up by one of my friends. I don't know what it was. But it is a fantastic video. I already started making this, the video you're watching, but I had to include this because it's absolutely wonderful. I was going to start this video with Jojo not mentioning God and his prayer thing. <laughs> but the seagull video is like 40 times better. <laughs> so no comparison. So you have this seagull, right? The seagull seats an open door and a supermarket full of groceries. Well, first of all, let's acknowledge that he's not masking up. Like, he gets mad props because he just goes in there unmasked, right? You know, he's about to commit a crime, and still, even with that, he's unwilling to put on a mask. So it's got an opportunity. It heads right, it heads right in there and takes no hesitation. This is one of the greatest seagulls alive. Now, I always think of seagulls as the rats of the sea, but they're smart, just like real rats are smart. And this one is, you know, one of the smartest, right? It's figured out the automatic doors, it's figured out there's food in here, and it's, you know, sees its opportunity, gets in there. He hops up there, I'm assuming it's a he, but who knows, hops up there and wants to get himself a sandwich. And he chooses the sandwich that he wants to die on because there's a lot of choices here. And now he's like, hey, I can't eat it here because they're going to try to take it away from me. So I got to figure out a way to get out of there. I'm sorry. No, he went back and got another one. He didn't like that. So he went back and got this one. It's like, so he sees people walking by, but he needs to get out, right? So he sits there, plops his sandwich down, and waits for somebody to open the door for him. I'd say this seagull's got it wired, right? This is, you know, probably the greatest seagull alive, and there's lots of them, right, globally. So he plops it down, and this guy, let's see this guy. So this guy walks by, right? This guy's walking by, and he's like, holy crap, there's a seagull just stole a sandwich. And he, he turns around and comes back. It's like, wait, am I seeing what I think I see? Or it's a woman, I guess. And she opens the door for him. She's like, we got to let that seagull out. He's got a sandwich to eat, right? And the thing picks up, picks up the sandwich. And then this woman, this freaking Karen right here, like she sees this guy's, I mean, this, this sandwich, unedible, right? This sandwich, no one can eat this sandwich. Seagull doesn't have a mask on. It's not social distancing, right? It's, you know, who knows where the seagull has been. It's already had its beak into this sandwich. This sandwich cannot be eaten, right? But this Karen comes up. And she's going to try to take this great seagull, this random person, right? Probably and the lower 20% of the human race is going to try to take this away, right? Like, she's not the greatest human in the world. This clearly is the greatest seagull. And the guy's just executed the crime of the frickin' century here. I mean, it's, it, you know, it's navigated these, these automatic doors. It's went in there, it's picked what it's wanted, it's scoped out the place. It sat here and waited for somebody to come out and open the door for it. Got outside, it's about to chow down on its well-deserved sandwich. Anybody deserves a sandwich, it's him. And this frickin' Karen, who's probably the lower 10 or 20% of people, is coming along, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna take your sandwich away. Right? Just classic Karen. He's running around. Chasing the seagull with a red umbrella, right? And the seagull's like, I'm not having it. He grabs a sandwich. You go over here. Get away from me, Karen, you, you low-functioning m and right? <laughs> gonna eat a sandwich it deserves it the carrot doesn't deserve anything you know trying to steal this guy's hard words hard hard-earned sandwich here like what did she do today 
You know, it's all these people in the world. Like, you saw this thing with the sandwich. Like, you can't have that sandwich. Let's go back to that. She's walking by. She sees a seagull with a sandwich. And she goes, you can't have that sandwich. You know? Like, <laughs> she's just walking by and she sees a seagull leaving a store with a sandwich. And her first reaction is, to take the sandwich. You can't have that sandwich. You don't deserve that sandwich. You didn't pay for that sandwich. You're not wearing a mask. You don't have any money. You know, but she ain't gonna win. And Siegel's like gonna outsmart that Karen ten times out of ten times. It's like, you know, he's Bugs Bunny and she's Wile E. Coyote. And then there's this commercial. I saw this commercial on my own and one of my friends sent it to me and I realized I wanted to cover this. And so here's J-Lo. J-Lo has something to say for us. If you want to get back to your favorite places and feel confident they have put your health... I do want to get back to my favorite places, J-Lo. What, what do I got to do to get back to my favorite places? Tell me. I'm glad you're, you're, you're doing this for me. Thank you. I want to go to my favorite places, which I haven't been able to go. So what do I got to do? Tell me. ...and feel confident they have put your health and safety first. Look for the Well Health Safety Seal. Look. What is the Well Health Safety Seal guy who fought Black Panther in the Black Panther movie? I want to know. Look for the well health safety seal. Look, I'm looking, but I don't know what it is. What is that well health safety seal, Lady Gaga, and an aging, decrepit Robert De Niro? Tell me, you guys. Tell me. I want to know. What is this well health, well health safety seal that you speak of? Look for the well health safety seal. I'm Dr. Richard Carmona. Thanks for introducing yourselves, because I recognize all those other celebrities, but. I would have thought you were like the guy who played Uncle Fester, but now I know that you're a doctor. The 17th Surgeon General of the United States of America. Wow, that's way better than Uncle Fester. This is the Well Health Safety Seal. There it is, right here. <laughs> it's, you know, they get it to go on glass. It's right here, it says.